What is up guys? This is Kai from Kai Creative. Today we are talking about the 30 degree rule in film making. So what is the 30 degree rule? The 30 degree rule stipulates that if you're going to cut between two angles of the same person or the same subject, then you need to move your camera at least 30 degrees between cuts. Also, if you're filming the same person or the same subject with two cameras at the same time, then you need to make sure that those two cameras are at least 30 degrees apart. If you don't follow the 30 degree rule, you end up with what is called a jump cut between scenes. This can be quite distracting to the viewer. It can draw their attention out of what's happening in the scene and towards the filming technique. This is definitely something that we as filmmakers do not want to happen. One place I'm always mindful of using the 30 degree rule is in interviews. Last week I had the opportunity to fly to the United States and film a conference in Philadelphia. At this conference I filmed a variety of different interviews. As you can see here I used a two camera setup and both of my cameras are at least 30 degrees apart. So now when I move between both of the camera shots the cut should be seamless and hopefully not consciously noticeable by the viewer. Unfortunately, there are times when I get this wrong too. In this example here, without realizing it, I broke the 30 degree rule. Now, when I cut between the two shots, the effect produced is a jump cut and this is very noticeable. One way to fix this would be to scale up the safety shot and move it slightly to the right. You will lose quality using this method, but if you're only going to use cutaways to cut out mistakes or link sections of the interviews, you might be able to get away with it by only showing it for a few seconds and then skipping back to the main camera shot. Additionally, if you don't have the space to move your camera 30 degrees, you can shoot in the same direction with both cameras. Just make sure you zoom enough in on the body of your subject and then maybe for the second shot, just have their head and shoulders. This should help you to avoid the jump cut. If you're filming an interview and you want two different angles but only have one camera, one method that I've used in the past is to film the entire interview using one angle and then switching the angle by more than 30 degrees and conducting the whole interview again. Now this is a long process and it really does depend on how much time you have and how long the interview is to whether you use it. If your camera films in 4K, what you can do in post-production is drop it down to 1920 by 1080 and then take a zoomed in shot of your interviewee and a zoomed out shot, a wide shot of your interviewee and mix between those two angles without losing any quality. Using the 30 degree rule is also necessary when you're shooting B-roll using the rule of threes. So whatever your subject is, you want to make sure that you're changing your camera angle by at least 30 degrees to avoid that jump cut. If you want to know more about the rule of threes and how we use it in filmmaking, check the link in the description below. So that's my quick breakdown on the 30 degree rule in filmmaking. If there's any more content around filmmaking or videography that you'd like to see in the future, let me know in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe to Kai Creative, like this video if you like it, don't forget to imagine, implement and inspire, and I'll see you guys next time on Kai Creative.